Here we are back on Timberborn. I have not played a lot uh, since. I have played a decent bit of the Folk Tales off camera and I've only played a little bit of the Iron Teeth, but we are on the, I think that's called the Waterfall map and we are also playing on hard difficulty. So I don't know how well this is gonna go. I've never played this map before, but let's get to it, I guess. First things first, we're gonna want to get some trees, of course, and then we're gonna want to build a cross over here, which means we're gonna need some levees. How deep is this water? Only one deep, that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and start pathing out some stuff just cause. Let's go ahead and put a lumberjack up there. Okay, so lumberjacks first. One, two, and three. Set these trees to cut. I wasn't cutting. Okay, yeah, they're cut there and then cut there. I'm actually not gonna build this one right here, but I am gonna do a gather a flag right here. Okay, so now we've got that set up. We also need some water. So let's go ahead and build out all the way here. This is a nice flat area. I think I'll see if I can use, actually I'll use this part for water over here and then see if I can use this part for like uh, water wheels and stuff. We'll just do one of these for now. And I like to have them have the paths one away just cause we will set that as highest work priority. So let's go ahead and get our beaver set up. Oh yeah, before I forget also, let's put an inventor hut down. Doesn't matter where, but we'll do, yeah, we'll do one there and actually, Let's do a second one as well, but this one is going to be on very low workplace priority. Okay, so the water's coming from over here somewhere. Okay, all the way up here, but we have this. There's bad water right here. Where's that coming from? That's coming from over here. Okay, if we can just get across, getting across this river would be the best thing for us to do for sure. But okay, it's the first night and what have we done? We do have some water going. Let's put a, not, not a small warehouse. We'll do this, get some water in here. Uh, I am gonna need some more water actually. So we're gonna do this, place another guy and some more water. I think that'll be good for now. Now we need to focus on getting a cross, I think. Actually, I think I wanna line it up to this. Actually, I'll just delete this and reline that up instead. That'll be easier to do. Oops, I did not mean to delete the <laughs> lumberjack. Also, I only meant to delete the pathway, but that's okay. I need, okay, 120 for levees. I should probably focus on getting a forester set up too, which means I'm gonna need, yeah, let's put that in right here. And then we can put a lumber mill in. Um, I also forgot, <laughs> I need food. I need to set up food. So let's also get a farmer set up. Uh, and he's actually gonna be wildly important. We're gonna do that set. Oh yeah, let's also, oh, that's already set up. Okay, so now that that farmer should be set up, then we're gonna get kohlrabi and we're gonna get kohlrabi. We're gonna get a lot of kohlrabi planted. That needs to be done ASAP. I probably should have done it sooner, but it is what it is. And actually, we're just going to do as much kohlrabi as I have room for, for now. See, see how that goes. Um, oh yeah, let's actually, since we can, let's go ahead and put a medium warehouse for this kohlrabi over here as well. Oh, that's berries. Yeah, that's kohlrabi. And are we full on berries as well? Looks like we are full on berries. We can go ahead and let's get a, yeah, I'll do a medium warehouse for berries as well. Now, uh, now that that's built, where are we, where are we sitting at? We've only got two builders. Okay, that's fine. Uh, build that, build that, and then Forester right here. Oh no. Okay, we got, we're getting our first drought already. Okay, we can put a Forester right here and he will eventually, once we have enough, once we actually get planks in here, which should be coming soon, we're gonna go for a bunch of pine right now until we have enough room or enough wood to go for some oak later. But at the moment, the pine, I think will just give us the best uh, amount of wood for now. And this is set up, this is running, how much am I getting, 88? Okay, good. So we can get a few planks, which means that this is gonna be actually built. So that'll be awesome actually. And this is our last day. So we're actually gonna make them work. Uh, we're only gonna make them work 20 hours. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we actually have all seven in there, so we don't even need this anymore. Awesome. Let's see if we can get more kohlrabi planted right here real quick. Just real quick, I think it'll, I don't know how long this drought is gonna last, but hopefully, hopefully it's not gonna last too long and we will have enough food. I have plenty of water right here. The drought's coming. Okay, the drought is four days and these are gonna die in two days. Okay, so that means let's go ahead and set that to harvest. Focused on harv focus on harvesting those first. And this trapper, what's he doing? 
he's just sitting there. He's not going to plant them. Okay, fine. You can do that then. Um, can you reach all these trees? Yes. Can you reach all these trees? Why are you just sitting there? Oh, you don't have storage. Let's get a wood storage and we're going to set the wood storage over here somewhere. Except I have this path blocked off. So instead, we're going to set the wood storage right here. Let's have a space in between this to get behind real quick. We're going to do this and we're going to set this as wood storage. And then we are going to go ahead and cut down these trees. Let's just do the whole thing. But yes, now we have that room. How much food do we have? Okay, we've got plenty of food actually. We have 12 beavers. Uh, can I see how, how old they are? How old do they live to be? Is there a way I can see like how old they're supposed to be? In that case, let's get a breeding pod set in as well as a barrack to try to increase the happiness a little bit. We're gonna put the barrack on the back right here. And we're also gonna get a breeding pod set in right here. And that should start, that'll take some berries, but that'll be fine. Okay, are we out of water? Okay, we are out of water now. That's just great. But can they last two more days? I think they can last two more days. I think we'll be fine. Let's actually destroy that lumberjack. Also, we're gonna move him over slightly one so that I can put a pathway right here. And then this pathway is gonna go up and meet over here and we're going to be able to place some buildings back behind here as well one of which um just to try to help out a little bit we're going to go ahead and place a campfire is there anything else i can place teeth grindstone do i still have an injured beaver is that something i still have i'm not sure but we can put the grindstone right here in front of the district center. Okay, uh, one more day and these guys should be good. And we're gonna, oh, I did not mean to have them working 20 hours, 20 hour shifts the whole time. I think we'll be fine. And actually, now that that's, now, now that I actually do have room over here, we are gonna move the large wood pile over to here. Cause this is closer to where most of the wood is. So now we just need to wait for the drought to end. We should be getting, we should be able to get some more water. Let's actually put this on lower priority and put one of these on lowest priority and I think we'll be fine now. All right, this is just missing water, but we got berries, we got food. Okay, I think we're good. I think we survived the first drought, so that's good. And we have enough now to start working on this too. Um, how much water is being, that is a lot of water. Maybe I should just do a full dam across. That's just a lot of wood, but it might, it might be, uh, worth it. it might be necessary a uh, lumberjack and another gatherer right here to gather some berries and some wood to set all these trees to be cut whenever they get there but i think that this is working i think i think we're good i think we'll be fine uh especially if we get this planted although oh we're completely out of food though so that's not good you get some berries from up here too pause this one and let's have that one go over here instead okay i think as soon as this gets because this kohlrabi should grow pretty quickly yeah this one's at 50%, which means it should be done in the next, uh, after this next day. And we should be good. We should be getting kohlrabi soon. Are we getting a baby going? Yes, the baby is going, but we are out of berries is, is an issue. Ooh, that building lacks workers. Okay, there we go. I uh, did not have that set up, but there, we are getting some berries from there. And these should start uh, becoming fully mature. Oh, and look at this, this dam is getting built. We're, oh no, another drought? This soon? I've never played hard hard difficulty, but this is rough. Are my beavers gonna die? They're so hungry. We are getting some berries though. This got paused because we're out of berries. So that's not good. Can this guy reach all the way over here? Nope, not super far, so I can't plant more berries, but that's okay. We are getting kohlrabis though, which means that they should start being able to eat. I am gonna leave them on planting, I think. It feels like they're taking forever to harvest. That's okay. Okay. I do have some that are surviving that are going to survive for sure, but this is really, it be really bad. Okay. I really need them to get this set up. So how many workers do I have? I don't have enough workers because I have somebody doing something that probably doesn't actually need to be done. Get rid of this guy. Yes. Yeah. We'll focus on replanting. Maybe I can reharvest some of these, but okay. We are getting some food now. We are getting some more berries, but yeah, this needs to be done soon 2020 20 how much do we have we don't have enough okay we are getting we are we, we do have a lot of wood sitting here so all right i put them on 24 hour work let's see if we can get them to finish this overnight i don't know how this is gonna go one two three we need a lot more wood though uh, this might not work this might not happen and let's go ahead and knock them back down to 16 just because they did work all night i am storing a, a decent bit of water 
I did lose, okay, two beavers did die. That one is growing, ah, this is, this is close. This is real close. Okay, it's not gonna happen. I don't have enough wood. I'm short by 30 wood. Okay, hopefully I can get it on the third drought though, or before the third drought. I should definitely be able to get it before the third drought. I think I, I have plenty, I have enough wood for sure. It's just a matter of whether or not I can actually do it. My, my beavers are still so hungry. And we're gonna set that to harvest, to the harvest focus so that we can make sure to get all this food. We will also turn off one of these pumps. Yeah, I was so close. I was so close. Look at that. Actually, if I pause that, am I gonna, is it gonna be in time to stop some of this water? So I, so my plants don't die at least? Come on, hurry up. 20, oh, okay. So my plants are at least not gonna die. I'm gonna keep my food. That's good. That's really good actually. Just barely, that just barely happened. Now, do I have enough water to survive? That's, that's the real question. This place does have berries. Oh no, my, okay, the water's already gone. These are gonna die in a couple days, but at least I do have all of this. Okay, another beaver has died of old age, but so far they have food, they have water. I think I'll be fine, but this food needs to be, I need to, I need to figure out a better way to do food. So let's actually go ahead and, okay, we are going to set up another farmhouse over here and then we're going to plant, um, I think cassava needs to be fermented and this fermenter costs or takes up horsepower. Yes. I think we're going to have to do that though. Um, just to get some more, I don't know where the planting range is, but let's set that up right there. Maybe see if that goes. And then wait, how big is the fermenter? Oh, that's a weird size, but we are not going to be planting crops right here then or here or here. Yeah. Let's just, let's just get rid of that one so that I can put a fermenter, the fermenter down. Where did that go? Okay. Well, it'll, uh, it'll either die off or get harvested. Okay, one more day on this drought and it looks like my beavers all have plenty of food, plenty of water, so that's good. Now, now that that's uh, dead, can I go ahead and place a fermenter on here? I can. It's such a weird size, but let's go ahead and I guess put it like this maybe? We'll just do that. Set that up and then we can set a small warehouse right next to it to hold cassava plants that have not yet been manufactured and then we can set up another warehouse somewhere else. I do not like the way that I've laid this out. We'll do it this way instead. We'll do this for now and then once I get a little bit more set up I will actually uh, probably re reorganize all my buildings and stuff. Let's go ahead and put a small warehouse here for the raw cassavas. Okay and I have a lot more space over here to actually farm than I thought I did so let's plant some more cassava crops right here. Awesome. This would be fermented cassavas right there. Yep. And actually we're going to put that back onto planting and just go ahead and replant kohlrabi to go right here. Uh, what do we have? We have seven things. Okay. One of my deep water pumps doesn't have anybody. Uh, I have no workers. That's fine. One farmhouse has two. Another one has one. That's fine as well. The fermenter has nobody. For one of the forester or the forester has Oh, the forester is paused. I don't want to, I don't want that paused. Um, gatherer flags. We probably don't need, we don't need both gat. We don't need this gatherer flag and we don't need, oh, I'll leave this one up, I guess. Both inventors, lumberjack flags do have one in them each. Let's actually pause this one for now. We'll pause that one for now. Oh, and this one can be paused as well. Yeah, we'll pause those. They'll, they can get those later, but these ones can be eaten up right now. The, these oaks will actually have eight logs for me. So that's a lot of wood for now. So are we making, we are not making anything yet because these take five days to grow. So look, we don't need that one either. We're on cycle three. Let's see how this next drought goes, but I think, I think we're good now. I think we did it. I think we beat this first drought or not this first drought. I think we successfully got settled in here. I don't need two workers in here. Actually, I'll just pause it because they don't need to be in here while these grow. Oh, it's actually about to grow. That's funny. Okay, we'll we'll leave these two workers in here to to grab the kohlrabi so we actually have food because we are almost out of kohlrabi actually. And we have two baby beavers. Uh, speaking of which, I think since we, we probably have enough. Wait, what are these at? Come on. I want to let me click on uh, one of these plants. Okay, yeah. Let's go ahead and pause that one too. We probably have enough to go ahead and look at 
getting another breeding pod set in here so we can get some more babies going. But I do want to reorganize my districts because it kind of, or not my districts, my, my thing, because I kind of just set it up real quick to be able to get things going. So let's see how this next drought goes. Okay, you're sitting on your butt. You can go do something else, I guess. You're going and sitting over here. Okay, we definitely don't need that many. Yeah, okay, we've got two, we've got our scientists back. Nice. I may, it may be worth it to have multiple farmhouses going in the same area just so I can have multiple beavers like or more than one set of beavers. Yeah, let's uh, let's build another farmhouse real quick and we'll also set that at high workplace priority so that we can just get more people in there. And I think, yeah, only going to take a few logs. Now we don't have any scientists anymore, but we are farming a little bit faster. We just doubled our farming speed, actually. And these are growing up now. OK, awesome. So let's go ahead and have somebody join over there. We probably don't need. Yeah, okay, we don't have any builders. We don't have any scientists, but that's OK. I think we'll be fine. We have one more day until this last drought approaches and let's see if we have, oh, I did not make sure that we had enough water. Are we pumping fast enough? All right, let's try to get this water in right here as fast as possible. And we're gonna go ahead and up, bump their working hours to through the night while we still have water that can be pumped for these. Yeah, we only have 90 storage. Now we have more storage, awesome. And let's go ahead and get these going too. Okay, it's nighttime now. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do water. Almost, come on. Is there gonna be enough time? No, you stopped, they stopped. Okay, now, yeah, now, keep filling water, please. Okay, the drought got started. The drought started, so we are going to pause these guys and then we are gonna turn we're gonna still let those do that yes we're gonna leave it like so leave it how it is see if this works we have 30 cassavas oh but i don't have any uh power that's okay we don't need power this is a nine day drought oh my goodness oh my goodness i need to get over here and start blocking off water over here yikes um okay so in that case well, we'll see. We'll see how this drought goes. Oh no, a nine day drought. Is my water going to last? I don't know how high the water is, what level this water is at. But yeah, if we can survive this, that would be, uh, that'd be great. Ooh, we are going to run out of water, I think. That's not great. If we do start to run out of water, I'll just turn on one of the pumpers again and some of this food will just die off and I think, but I think we'll be fine. But uh, is there any way I can hold any more water anywhere else? Yeah, I'm just going to have to get up here, I think, and build like a dam with like a floodgate up here. Probably what's going to have to happen. So let's go ahead and start planning that out, actually. Let's go over here, here. Let's build stairs up this way. You can buy stairs, yes. Build stairs up here, up here, up here, and up here. Yep, I think that'll just go straight through. We should be fine to then start building levees across here as well. Yeah, I'm going to pause it while I first set this up. 120 science, I have just, okay, I have enough. We'll do that. And then we can also do, we can do a floodgate or a dam. It's just, let's just do dams for now. If I really want to change it, I can at another time. But let's just do that for now. And where are more stairs, more sidewalks, and then all the way across over here. Does getting over here actually give me anything? Um, getting up here would get me to some metal over there. Awesome. But let's go ahead and head over to the metal as well. Let's just place, oops, let's just place this in. And then all well, these berries are in the way. I'm gonna mark these to be demolished and then place a path over there and we can actually get some metal here later as well. Awesome. We still got to make sure that we actually survive this drought. We had like 130, I think it was 140, 150 water maybe, but we are going to be running out of that soon. So I am going to turn on one of these guys and have him pump a little bit. I really don't want him to pump too much water because I don't want to lose the water for these because I'm I've still got plenty of food right here. They're not quite fifty percent yet, I don't think. But this is a decent bit of water that that we're holding. Um, while I'm just waiting, let's just like place in like little things here and there. Got a little shrub that costs planks. I can't build that. Those cost planks as well. Uh, do we have a rooftop terrace in? We do not. But I can place one right here with the stairs, and we'll just like say that these stairs are higher pri highest priority. Priority. Do I have a lumberjack running at all? I have this lumberjack running. Just three more days. Oh, and they're out of water now. How badly out of water are they? Okay, they just started running out of water. But we do have one pumping. Three days, I think we'll be fine, maybe. Okay, last day, I did turn on the second pumper, but we are getting plenty of water, and I think that all of my beavers are happy enough. Yeah. They've all, they've all got water now. So even if uh, I run out of water on this day, which might happen, 
I think all my crops will still survive, um, but we will see what happens. I've got plenty of water now. I think uh, I think I'll still survive. Uh, where are we at with workers? Okay, we'll turn that on and have him help just grab some food, and then we can turn uh, this on and this on as well. And actually, I will turn this off back off actually i think we're i think we'll be fine but that'll allow me to put beavers in here um and then we can start working on this dam next to hold m even more water over here maybe uh oh that's what that is why i wanted a floodgate though i did want a floodgate for the reason of being able to let water out when i wanted to and i will be putting a double floodgate there next time but i think that uh i think we're survived that's great though we did survive we have people pumping water we have beavers making food we have plenty of wood yeah plenty of wood plenty of food and plenty of water I think that this has been a success so far.